Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm gonna try one of these new Jose Ole Ole burrito bowl. Uh, this one is a savory pork and zesty red chili sauce. It is Spanish style rice, tender seasoned pork, sweet onions, and black beans in a zesty red chili sauce. It looks really good. I, I, uh, I like the looks of it. It's pretty decent. So uh, we bought these at Meyer. They were three forty nine. So that's not too bad. Three hundred sixty calories. For the whole bowl, so I don't think that's bad either. 360 calories, it's not too awfully, awfully horrible. Uh, yeah, 59 grams of carbs though, so if you're on a low carb diet, probably not a meal for you. Uh, let's see, microwave directions are the only ones I see, so we're going to remove the tamper band, which is a plastic band around there. Microwave on, so you don't take the lid off or anything. Um, microwave on high with lid on for four and a half minutes. Let it sit for two minutes to complete cooking. Remove the lid and basically that's it. Stir it up and then you're done. So remove the band and with the lid on four and a half minutes. So let's see how easy I can get this band off. I didn't think to cut it beforehand. Looks like it's perforated right there. That wasn't too painful. Yeah, there. I like to show you what's inside here before we do it. Pretty full bowl. It's gonna shrink down, of course, while you microwave it, but um, one, two, three, four. Looks like four or five pieces of uh, the pork in there that I can see. There's one like down in there. One, two, three, four, five, maybe, maybe six. I can't really tell. Anyway, five or six pieces of pretty decent sized pork. So I'm going to get this in the microwave and uh, ooh, you can see the green onions in there too. So anyway, there you go back. Okay, here it is on the microwave. It has set for a minute or two after it got done in the microwave. I just let it sit in the microwave for a few minutes. Um, but you can see it. Um, Got quite a bit of rice and the, the meat shrunk up quite a bit. See that piece of pork right there? Looks pretty good. So I'm gonna stir this up really good. Um, I do think it smells good. That's that's a good thing. So I'm gonna stir this up really good and um, I'll be back once it's cooled off just a minute. Probably won't take it too long. Okay, I think it's had enough time to cool off without burning my mouth off, but there's the bottom of it. There's you can see the pork and rice and it looks like these are peppers and onions on the end. Um, there's sauce. I mixed all the sauce up in, inside of everything. So that, that's everywhere. So here we go. I also had a black bean in there too, just in case you couldn't see it. I love the flavor of that pork. Um, it has a little spice, so there's a little tingle in the back of your throat. If you like a, if you don't like spiced food at all, you wouldn't like it. But if you don't mind a little spice, it's no big deal at all. It's just a little uh, pepper kick in the back of your throat. Um, but I really do like that red chili sauce. It's good. The rice is cooked well. It's not sticky and all clumped together. It's really, um, it's really good. It comes apart in like individual little pieces. I wish the hunks of pork came apart a little bit easier because they, I would like to pull like that hunk into a couple pieces so I could eat it in a couple bites instead of just one. But I can't, and without getting a knife, I can't, I can't cut it apart with my fork. So let's see how tough it is. It's actually really tender. The um, it's just kind of like um, kind of like if you had a pork chop or something. If you if you cooked a pork chop and it's one piece of pork and it really doesn't have like chicken has like layers you can kind of pull it apart. Pork is kind of more stuck together, I guess. Uh, Think of it that way. Um, kind of like beef. Beef is too. Um, yeah, that's really good. I like that. And it's not. It's very tender. Uh, the pork is very very tender. I may want to get a knife, or if you could try this, you may want to get a knife and just cut the pieces of pork in half just so it lasts longer. Because you don't get a ton. Once you eat the pork, you're going to be left with just rice and beans and peppers. So, um, which is not a bad thing. It's still a good flavor, but um, but you will be out of pork. So just let you know. Uh, I like this. I, I do like this meal quite a bit. It, it does have a little spice. Um, it's not overpowering at all. It has a really good peppery flavor. Uh, the pork, like I said, is very good and tender. Uh, it has a really good flavor too. The rice is cooked perfectly. Um, the onions and, and every, I mean, everything's just really good blend of, of all the flavors. So I think it's unique enough to try out for yourself. I'm gonna give it a four. It's not quite a five. It's not like you know, the perfect meal. So uh, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. And um, yeah, I think it's definitely worth trying out if you get them in your area. And it's not too bad a price and not too bad of a calories either. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.